Good day everyone, I'm John Rizales from BSL Mathematics 1, your presenter. And now, the topic that I discuss is the late childhood or the intermediate schooler. So, how you define the intermediate schooler? Intermediate schooler is late childhood is generally defined as ages 9 through 12. And it may call this stage as pretense and playful or physically active. And now, let's talk about the physical development of the intermediate schooler. So, early puberty is, on the average, girls are generally as much as 2 years ahead of boys in terms of physical maturity. And at puberty, changes start with the brain triggers the production of sex hormones. And the changes during early puberty to the girls is, one is small lumps from behind the nipple may occur which sometimes could be painful but eventually the pain goes away and the vul vulva starts increase a bit and the vagina gets longer, the uterus gets bigger, hairs will start to grow in the armpit and pubic area. And this is the illustration of changes during early puberty in female or girls. And now in male or boys it will also have swelling on their chest but tend to go away within a year subtle increase in testicle size penis and scrotum starts to grow semen may be released when he is awake or even during a sleep hair will start to grow and become thicker new hair will start to grow in the armpit and pubic area around genitals and also it may start developing chest and facial hair and now, let's talk about the height, weight, and muscle development. So, mean of the bodily structure like the liver, muscle, skeleton, kidneys, and face follow a normal curve of development for both girls and boys. And also, it increased bodily fat, and girls appear to be chubby, while boys tend to have more lean body mass per inch of height than girls. And the insecurities of this physical development is that at this stage, children may become very concerned about their physical appearance, and girls especially may become concerned about their weight and decided to eat less. Boys may become aware of their structure and muscle size and strength. So, implication to child care, education, and parenting. So, during this stage, children are more physically active, however, they still have a lot of physical maturity to undergo. Here are some points to consider for healthcare providers, teachers, and parents. So first is provide ample opportunities at home and in school for physical exercises and sports. Second, encourage children and to participate in varied worthwhile activities until they are able to discover the ones they are interested in. Third is develop a strong emotional attachment with your children so as to address any insecurities and social concern. And lastly, since children in this stage have more control over their eating habits, provide them healthier food choices. And now, let's talk about the cognitive development of the intermediate schoolers. So, initial cognitive characteristics is their ability ability to use logic and reasoning gives them chances to think about what they want and how they get so first is reading development children in this stage is marked by a wide application of word attack so second they are no longer into the fairies fertile and magic type of stores but are more interested in longer and more complex reading materials example fiction books and series books third in choosing books appropriate to their age consider the following consider who the child is his or her personality traits and personal preferences when choosing a book second make a selection with the child in mind choose an informational book or novel in an area of specific interest last Choose books and that encourage discussion and insight building. So the attention of intermediate schooler, older children have longer and more flexible attention span compared to younger children. 
their span of attention is dependent on how much is required by the given task. In terms of school work, older children can concentrate and focus more for a long period of hours, especially if they are highly interested in what they are doing. And let's talk about the creativity of the intermediate schoolers. Children at this stage are open exploring new things. Creativity in children is encouraged within the act. So, encourage different responses from each other, celebrate uniqueness, break stereotypes, value process over product, reduce stress and anxiety in children, support to share ideas not only with the teacher and also with the other children. So, last, minimize competition and external rewards. Next is the impact of media of intermediate schooler. The dreams of having a television unit in every classroom started in the 1950s. Second, the impact of the use of te television and other media like computer has gained popularity because students are given opportunity to communicate effectively in speech and writing, work collaboratively, use technological tools, analyze problems, set goals, and formulate strategies for achieving those goals, and also seek out information or skills on their own as needed meet their goal. And media aggregation, violence and aggregation are often dubbed as one of the result of media, according to the Public Health Summit in 2000. The following are some negative results of media. First, children will increase antisocial and aggressive behavior. Child Second, children may become less sensitive to violence and those who suffer from violence. Third, children may view the world as violent and mean, becoming more fearful of being victim of violence. Children will desire to see more violence in entertainment and real life. Lastly, children will view violence as one acceptable way to settle complex. Implication to child care, education, and parenting. Children have varying intelligences profiles. These profiles may be based on influence on learning and achievement. Parents, child care providers, and teachers should be able to recognize this true. First, being an eager participant in children's growth and development. Second, understand how to use the children's natural curiosity to help make the appropriate developmental lift in their skills and abilities. The last one is creating an atmosphere where risk can be taken and discoveries made while children remain safe. And now, let's talk about the socio-emotional development of intermediate scholars. So, this is the illustration of the intermediate scholars of socio-emotional development. And understanding self-confidence, self-identity, and self-concept. So, one of the most widely recognized a characteristic of this period of development is the acquisition of feeling of self-competence. During the late childhood, children can now describe themselves with eternal and psychological characteristics and traits. They most like employ more social comparison distinguishing themselves from the others. And the emotional development. The same with other areas of development, children in this stage show improved emotional understanding, increased understanding that more than one emotion can be experienced in a single experience. Another milestone in this stage is development of the children's emotional intelligence or EQ. Emotional intelligence has four main areas. First is developing emotional self-awareness. Second is managing emotion or self-control. Third is reading emotion or perspective taking. And the last one is handling emotion or resolve problems. There are five types of peer status. First is popular or frequently nominated as the best friend and one who is rarely disliked by peers. Second is average. It is received an average number of positive and negative nominations from peers. Third is neglected. It is very seldom dominated as best friend but is not really disliked. Fourth is rejected. It is infrequently nominated as a best friend but one who is 
also disliked by peers. And the last one is controversial. It is frequently nominated as a best friend but at the same time is disliked by peers. So, building friends. Building friends is the approval and belongingness they receive contributes to the stability and security of their emotional development. Precise also unless supervision by adults is required. At this stage, children prefer to belong to same-sex per groups. And the family. Family support at this stage is crucial. If the children do not find a supportive family when they find their interest, they can easily get frustrated. If families are a primary support system, failure and setbacks become temporary and surmountable rather than something that is attributed to personal flaws or deficits. Implication to child care and education parenting. Intermediate school children's social emotional competences should be viewed in the context of the child development age. Health care providers, teacher, and parents should be able to gain understanding of their child's social emotional strength and weakness by encouraging children to talk about their feelings without doing it forcefully and to provide opportunities for children to build a relationship with teacher and fellow classmates. And it's remind children that friendship have their ups and downs and occasional context and arguments can be healthy. And also, it is an activities that allow children to work on their own and discover activities and hobbies that they enjoy and model healthy relationship. And now, let's talk about the adolescents or the high school learner. Cognitive development on high school learners. Adolescence is the time when I think it can be to independence, sexuality, peer relationship, and body image. According to Piaget's theory of cognitive development, it is four types, sensory motor stage, pre-operational stage, concrete official operational stage and formal operational stage and since the remote stage is the child begins to interact with the environment pre-operational stage is the child begins to represent the world symbolically concrete operational stage is the child learns roles such as conservation formal operational stage is the adolescent the concrete think about the future can transcend situation and the thing about the future. Cognitive development. It is the emergence of the ability to think, reason, and understand. And also, it is said that adolescence marks the beginning development of more complex thinking process called formal logical operations. According to Jean Fayaget's theory, has become one of the most influential theories of the cognitive development. So, this is illustration. Brain development. First, acquisition of new skills due to brain's increasing weight and refining synaptic connections or corpus callosum. Second is process of continuous concentration of brain cell in prefer prefrontal cortex and temporal and parietal areas or myelination. Third is three peaks of maturation at the age of 12, 15, and 18.5. Fourth is acquire spatial awareness and formulate abstract or general ideas. Fifth is from ages 13 to about 25. A pruning and strengthening process is the happening in their brain. Now, let's talk about the thinking of the brain. First is propositional thinking. It is assertion of outside visual evidence. Second is relative thinking. Subjective making of opinions and facts. Real versus possible. It examining a situation and exploring the possible in terms of situation or solutions. Hypothetic deductive reasoning. 
it emerged in reasoning from facts or situation to a particular situation. It is very important method for testing theories or hypotheses. The HD method is one of the most basic methods common to all scientific disciplines including biology, physics, and chemistry. And according to Sigler information processing skills. It views the human mind as a system that processes information according to a set, process information according to a set of logic rules and limitations similar to those with which a computer is programmed. Four important processes. First is encoding and representation. Second is strategies. Third is automatization. The last one is generalization. In his experiment, he uses a rule model Tiarapan, adolescent measure of the following. First is speed information processing. Second is complexity. The last is in increased volume of information processing. Metacogn metacognitions. It is a definition as cognition about cognition or knowing about knowing. It comes from the root word meta or meaning behind. It is the ability to think about thinking, information processing trends, the knowledge acquired through experience is stored in long-term memory and become declarative and procedural. Learners are aware of their poor memory, ability to acquire an increased amount of knowledge, formal operation stage, problem solving thinker, outside from formal operational thinking that can be developed by mathematical and science studies. It is also identifying the problem and seeking new and creative solutions. Steps to become problem solver. First is observe and ask questions. What the way in which other performs. Ask others how they solve problems. Second, approach from the different angle. Think of potential solution as if you were a child. Third, is learn a new word. Look at dictionary and find the word of the day. Use the word several times during the day. Fourth, understand something new. Watch movies, read, or look the pages of our art in general. Three types of metacognitive awareness. First is declarative knowledge. Second is procedural knowledge. Third is look conditional knowledge. Possible adolescent behavior during cognitive growth. First is egocentrism, thinking too much themselves, or imaginary audience and personal fable. Imaginary audience is admirers that exist only in the teenager's imagination, and personal fable is a teenager exaggerated sense of their own uniqueness. Number two is idealism. Adolescent opens through thought on the possible. Three components of metacognition. First is metacognitive knowledge or metacognitive awareness is what individuals know about themselves and others as cognitive processors. Second is metacognitive regulation. It is the regulation of cognition and learning experiences through a set of activities that help people control their learning. It contains three scales. First is planning refers to the appropriate selection of strategies and the correct allocation of resources that affect task performance. Second is monitoring refers to one's awareness of comprehensions and task performance. Third is evaluation refers to appraising the final product of a task and the efficiency at which tasks perform. This can include re-evaluating such that we use. And the third component of metacognition is metacognition experiences. It is those experiences that have something to do with the current or going cognitive endeavor. Basic personality of factors. First is realistic or doers. It is preferred practical that tasks that require physical labor and motor coordination, example, carpenter, drivers, electrician, engineer, or etc. Second is investigative or thinkers. It is prepared to think rather than act, example, computer programmer, chemist, detective, scientist, and etc. Third is artistic or creators. It is prepared constructed tasks and may show ability to self awareness.
physical development of the high schooler. First is puberty changes. In a culture, biological changes comprises the major transition from childhood to early adolescence. This is manifested by a change in physical appearance, a more rapid rate of development or the next to the speed of growth of the fetus in the uterus. It is known as growth spurt. The phenomenon commonly results in the feeling of awkwardness and unfamiliarity with bodily changes. Uh, this uh, picture is the illustration about the puberty changes. Exploration Exploration, adolescents become aware of changes in sexuality, those undergoing a period of exploration and adjustment. Learners from sectarian, religious, and gender exclusive. Schools are more likely to consider sexual open to be dangerous. If not sinful, the case is not perceived among non-sectarian or gender mixed schools, although more dangers exist relating to a heterosexual relationship and early pregnancy among students in non-exclusive schools. Pluses and minuses in early late maturations. Early or late maturation deserve due consideration, as this can be a factor for adolescent's acceptance and comfort or satisfaction with his hair or body image. Among girls, physical changes are more dramatic, but perceptions of not being well developed as compared with their peers can be a cause of timidity or shyness, if not frustrations. The ideal masculine and fem feminine physics. Most adolescents desire an ideal body, which is the same as being attractive or handsome in face, feature of the eyes, nose, lips, hair, and etc. And in body, and tall, muscular for boys, and tall and slender for girls. Adolescence and nutrition. Necessary for adolescent years are sufficient among vitamin B12 found in the animal proteins, calcium, zinc, iron, riboflavin, and vitamin D. Magic diet schemes suggested by advertising and magazines to lose weight, give a radiant hair, white the skin, and etc. should be met with caution. The ideal body. It is important that adolescents feel confident about their body image. The physical features of the human body are the facial looks, body size, color of skin, and etc. It is dependent on genetic heritage, which must generally be respected. However, with advancement in hair and skin technology, change in hair color and skin are no longer impossible. There is more to body image that physically looks and this can concern good habits in relation to. First is cleanliness and grooming. Second is proper wearing of clothes following card styles. Third is effect of body posture. Fourth is eye contact while communicating. The last one is decorum or good form and confidence and sensi. And now let's talk about the social emotional development of high school learners. Stereotypes of gender differences in social education and family. In social of boys is self-sufficient, higher self-esteem, but in the girls is help-seeking, congeniality, sociability. In education for boys is excel in math, but in girls is spelling, penmanship, reading, music, verbal skills. And the family for boys is engaged themselves with activities autonomy over children, but in the girls is relationship connection and openness. Developing self-esteem. Self self-esteem means appreciation of self-love. Its potential endowment can be developed to a great extent through family formation, school, and social influences. Its popularity and external appearance. And self-appreciation, self-reliance, autonomy, energy, courage, and internal positive motivations. Friendship and intimacy. It has several types of friendship. First is acquaintances, companions, best friends, and intimates. Identity issues. It is two dimension of identity issues. First is commitment. Second is crisis or crisis. 
for self identity let us have a stages first is ident identity to foreclosure moratorium identity achiever identity disusing self identity a way promoting one's identity first is boost confidence about self compete and ability to learn second is opportunity to try out rules three is support from parents gender roles and emotional for boys is independent less emotional but in the girls is so conscious for education for the boys is focus more on physical activities like basketball but in the girls is verbal skills but in the social for boys is creating their own social group but in the girls is engage in intimate friendship anti-social behavior is importance of parental monitoring on the child as early as early childhood and also involvement in peers and commitment with peers in late childhood and adolescence moral development they, are, they have two stages is the conventional and the post conventional conventional is adolescent is able to understand and conform to social conventions it can consider the motives of peers and adults engage in proper behavior to please others and follow the rules of society and post conventional have three types is the law and order social contract and the universal ethical principles influences in moral behaviors the fears can encourage positive behavior although they can also encourage misconduct or inappropriate behaviors also the influence of parents is more persuasive